So I see you brought your pamphlets with me, with yes. you. Yes. Tell us what is what is Project Flame in, uh, in City uh, University. In City Hong University, Kong. yeah. Project Flame actually is a very wonderful initiative, uh, which developed and established in, uh, three years ago, since 2012. You know, at that year, we have a fourth year cohort. And mm -hmm. then with the additional year, what you have to think about to put into the curriculum to enrich the program. Mm. So group teachers in City University of Hong Kong, they start with the project frame with the aim on developing the social innovation and entrepreneurship among the campus. Got it. So we have four dimensions, mm. one about the GE courses, talk about uh, social entrepreneurship 101, that teach you how to start from the number one, the dream, and then to come true. Oh. And then secondly, we also set up a hand to spot shop in the campus run by the students because the, we want them to experience how to run the business inside the campus mm -hmm. by receiving the leftover and also the uh, recycled books mm -hmm. or the home at limes from the residents. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, we also co-work with the General Chamber of Social Enterprise in Hong Kong to create the first ever CMA, Social Enterprise Endorsement Scheme, mm -hmm. which is uh, funded by a Standard Charter Bank. And now they, we have around 30 social enterprises in Hong Kong already got their branding. Mm. And then fourth one, we will lead our students to see, is to believe, they is to visit social enterprises locally, overseas, mm -hmm. and also have the internship outside. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow morning, I will lead our 12 students from CTU to have four weeks social enterprise internship at Singapore. Wow, Singapore. Yes. So that's not, a, that's not a place where I normally think of people doing social enterprise work. Is it important? in Hong Kong, mm. Singapore, wherever, to put social enterprise into an ecosystem? What does it do for the larger ecosystem? I think the point is that we got a lot of social challenges, social issues and social problems. And we always think that, oh, we should have a small government, but a bigger community. Mm. So I think social enterprise is a kind of way that to involve and engage more mm -hmm. civilization or citizens' involvement. Interesting. So we think that it's start good to start with the students. They, during their well, academic years, they already know about this. And we, we have a particular design allow our students to expose to the problem, to see the poverty issue, to see the old people issues, and then mm. they create some project. And then we give them feedback and also mm. help them to present. And then when it, when it benefits the society, I think, is, is that what helps it scale? Well, for scaling up, it's a really a challenging way. Yeah. You know, we always have the dream, we always want to do it, but <laughs> Where is your money? Where yeah. is your experience? Mm. So when the student come to me and say, oh, when I graduate, I will start my own social enterprise. I said, stop, no. Mm. You should go back to your formal work for two years to gain your network, to save your money, to earn the trust and support from your parents. That's interesting, yeah. yeah. I've heard Jack Ma say something very similar, that through your 20s, you should do a specific thing of following the, the older right. parts of society. Through your yeah. 30s, then you should work for somebody. What, what do you think, uh, what, is what does Hong Kong benefit by through, through some of the social enterprise work so far? What it, where have you seen there to be real growth? Well, you know, uh, since uh, the SARS 2003, the Hong Kong government said that, oh, we should develop more opportunity, employment opportunity for those who are underprivileged. Mm. So that is the high uh, starting of the social enterprise campaign in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And nowadays we have uh, 527 social enterprise projects in Hong Kong, employing more than 10,000 people wow, who are really underprivileged. Great. And then for the so-called scoring of the GDP, sorry, we are only scoring a very small percent, 0.5%. Zero zero mm. But you know, in, in Spain, they scored the 30% of the GDP from social enterprise. Wow. Because their unemployment rate is serious. Yeah. But you know, in Hong Kong, it's 100% employment. So our target is not to offer just employment, but really to offer the new outlet and also the dream for the underprivileged people that they, when they make their hands dirty, then they can really break out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, we'll have people check out Project Flame. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Thanks.